Stop being frustrated with your job search, your career advancement. End all of the question marks in your head about this whole online thing. Can I actually do this? Can I make money online? Can I uh, I see all these people doing amazing things, quitting their job, working from home? All If you have any questions about that, you're going to get all your answers here today. So make sure you come on back. It's Office Hours with yours truly. Great to see everybody. Welcome to Nez Nation Live Office Hours. If you're new to this show, this is a show where you get to ask me anything. It's a live Q&A, AMA, and you can ask me any question you want related to career advancement, online business, making money online, building your online presence so that you can attract the right people, so you can earn more, grow faster, stress less. This is the show for you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, We go live every single Sunday. 9.30 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I want to know how in the world are you? Get your questions ready. Leave them in the comments down below and make sure as you come on in, you know what you need to do. You need to smash that smash button, a.k.a. that like button down there. So great to see you guys. Look at this. We got Sweeney Dunstan in the house. Tom Nash, good to see you, brother. How are you? And Big John on Facebook. Yes. Now the show can start because Big John is here. How you doing, Big John? It's great to see you. It is November 1st, the first of the month, 2020, uh, as of this recording. If you're listening to this on the podcast, it's probably a little bit after that. Uh, last night was Halloween. How did you guys do? How was Halloween? How was everything? Chris Jones in the house. Great to see you guys. Hope you guys had a very safe uh, and fun Halloween. If you're like me and you've got two little youngsters or maybe a couple youngsters um it's all about the kids and uh, actually it went really really well last night silver fox in the house how are you great to see you hey urban explorer light nice to see you neil long time no see um yeah i uh i uh it was uh we went to uh my mother-in-law's neighborhood it was funny my our neighborhood did not engage in this and everything's kind of been weird with covid obviously um, cases, uh, seem to be rising all over again. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't think it's ever going to go away. It's up to us to adapt to this and just do the best we can to not let it destroy our lives and dominate our lives, but also be very, very cautious and be smart and be intelligent. Um, so, uh, we, uh, we went to my mother-in-law's neighborhood where, I mean, it was really, really cool how they did it. They had those long kind of shoots and people, I actually thought it was better I thought it was better than knocking on strangers' doors and just kind of getting candy and having the kids, you know, sort of uh, bother. I don't know. I just felt like it was better. I felt like it was better. People were outside. They were in their garages, and they were very hospitable, very warm. See, human beings are resilient. Human beings, we can make this work. We don't have to let things, you know, disrupt our way of lives. Uh, and, and, and it was just really, really cool. I thought it was actually better. And, you know, the kids were able to go pick out their own candy and, uh, you know, it was just awesome. It was fun. And, uh, they got tons of candy. Um, and boy, boy, oh boy, are we in trouble? I mean, I think we're doomed. They got way too much candy. Uh, so I hope you guys had a, had a wonderful, uh, uh had a wonderful Halloween, uh, a little bit of news to kind of start with, you know, I, I, especially those of you listening on the podcast. And by the way, did you know that we have a podcast for crying out loud? Make sure you go subscribe to our personal branding 101 podcast. We're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we're everywhere. I want to know how many of you actually listen to podcasts. Let me know in the chat down below. Uh, with a hashtag me. Do you listen to podcasts? Are you subscribed to podcasts? And then let me know how many you're actually subscribed to. I'm just kind of curious, doing a little bit of research here. Oh, fantastic. Silver Fox. Very nice. Air Force veteran. I love that. Great to see you, John. Pete Rondeau in the house. Good afternoon. How are you, Pete? Great to see you. Great to see you, Chris, on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you share this out, guys. Because as you know, as I say, sharing is one of the best ways to support us. Sharing and liking and subscribing is one of the best ways to support us. And we would really, really appreciate that. 
if you could do that, uh, that would be awesome. So, so uh, just a little bit of news to start off. And please, if you have any any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. Any questions at all about anything? This is a live Q and A. We do this every single Sunday. Um, but uh, you know I, what I've been doing? I've been doing a lot of experimenting lately with the podcast. Um, I, if you don't know by now, on the YouTube channel. I've been doing a lot more um, larger videos, big tutorials on making money online, uh, best side hustles, working from home. Uh, I did a, I, I mean, I thought I did a pretty, and I had to cut this down. I mean, this video was pretty long, but some of you guys were asking about this. And if you haven't seen that video, my most recent upload on my channel talked about my journey so far on YouTube. And what I feel is the truth about being a YouTuber full time, uh, you know, and, and when I say full time, uh, you know, I'm doing so many other things, too. I have my business. I have my family. Um, but YouTube, if you really want to commit to it, if you really want to take it seriously and you really want to do something with it, uh, it does require a lot of your time and energy. And I did a very, um, I would say a long video. <laughs> I mean, when I was, when I was editing the video, it was, uh, you know, it, it could have been 30, it could have been an hour long. It was crazy. I, I dwindled it down, whittled it down to about 20, 20 plus minutes long, but I, I really felt strongly about it. And it literally just talked about my journey and what I feel, what I've learned and the mistakes that I've made when I first started out. And, and hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Uh, if you guys uh, check that out, make sure you go check that out. So uh, it looks like we got a couple people saying, yes, they do listen to podcasts. Fantastic. Great. Okay. About six. Pete says about six. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I love that. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Love shines 360. Great to see you. Um, so, so what I've been doing lately on the podcast is I've been, because I've been doing such, uh, I've been doing some different things on the YouTube channel. I mean, not different as in the branding, but different in the delivery, the execution, maybe the robustness of it. And it's been working really great. Thank God the channel has been growing beautifully. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers. We're growing steadily. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to kind of share that I've been actually putting some of that content um, on the podcast. And so when I say putting some of that content on the podcast, not just slapping it up there on the podcast, but actually contextualizing it and sharing what I think are the best parts of some of the recordings and putting them, uh, you know, kind of obviously reorienting them and, and making sure that you're, as I always say on this channel, as I always say on this show, you want to be respective of the different platforms. Repurposing is like the eighth wonder of the world, but you got to do it right, right? So you don't want to just kind of throw it everywhere. You want to have a strategy and you want to really be respective of the different platforms and what they want and what the audience needs. And um, and so I, I would really love to hear from you. I would really love to hear any comments or any reactions like, hey, Nez, I love, because I'm, uh, you know, most of the podcast episodes that I've been putting up have been over an hour long, which is very, you know, that's normal for podcasts. That's nothing strange for podcasts. Most podcasts, podcast is a long form content platform. But what I've been trying to experiment with lately is putting very short form, very short form content on the podcast, like 15, 20 minute kind of snackable audio content and uh, really kind of putting some of the stuff that I put on YouTube onto the uh, uh, the podcast. And so I would love to know if this is something that's interesting to you, if you're like, hey, Nez, I listened to this. So the video where I talked about my journey on YouTube over the last four years, um, that audio is actually on the podcast. Uh, obviously, it's not just like, you know, uh, the same exact thing, but it's a little bit different. But I think it's really, really powerful uh, and I know a lot of us, you know, audio is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and so I'm still a, a major proponent of, you know, video content. Video is amazing. And I love creating content on YouTube. I love creating content, uh, uh, video content, but, but audio content is very powerful. I myself am subscribed to about four or five podcasts myself, and I love listening to podcasts. So yeah, Silver Fox says Android, Spotify, very cool. Love that. Uh, Chris Jones says, I'm in need of copywriting skills, titles of videos, subject lines for emails. Speaking of, I have an amazing video 
It's about an hour long, and it's also a podcast episode, Chris Jones. Um, it's on the podcast. It's a, it's like an amazing copywriting masterclass. And so you got to go check that out. Hey, good to see you, Miriam. Miriam is in the house. Good to see you, Miriam. I like videos than podcasts. So I prefer videos over podcasts. Okay. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Good to see you. Thank you so much. I'm a self-published author from Africa. How can I get my books on Amazon? Where do I start from? That's easy. Um, the first person you need to go see is Dale Roberts. Go to his channel because he is the self-publishing guru. So make sure you go to Dale Roberts' channel. But um, the best way to get it on Amazon is go through KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. And, you know, again, you don't want to just kind of um, um, do that haphazardly and do that without strategy. Um, I always recommend that any time that you go to uh, a, a, a new type of content or any time that you want to post something, publish something, uh, launch something, make sure that you do your due diligence. Make sure that you do your research. Find out exactly what's needed. What are the best practices, best strategies? I have several books on Amazon myself, and it was very, very easy using CreateSpace, uh, which I don't think CreateSpace is around anymore, but I have um, some books on Kindle as well. And so that is not difficult to do. That's very, very easy. Uh, and I would recommend going to Dale Roberts' self-publishing channel. Uh, he has amazing content. Dale is a good friend of mine. He's been on the show several times. He has amazing content uh, on his channel all about uh, uh, publishing on Amazon. So make sure that you check that out. But obviously stick around for now, but make sure you go check that out uh, uh, very, very soon. Um, so yeah, so I, I would be really, really curious to see, yes, Chris says Kindle, absolutely. I'd be very, very curious to see um, what you guys think of this kind of experiment that I'm doing on the podcast, short form, snackable audio content. Um, a lot of the content that I believe with my heart and soul that started on video, but I will definitely be uh, putting some of that on the podcast as well. Obviously, this live stream podcast goes on there every single week as well. Um, you know, and, and I always say podcast listeners, if you're listening, we would love for you to join us. We would love for you to be here when we go live because every single Sunday we go live every single Sunday, 9 30 AM Pacific, 12 30 PM Eastern time. You want to make sure that you click subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell notification, hit the follow button, follow the hashtag Nez Nation. Okay. Uh, on uh, uh, on LinkedIn uh, because we're we're bringing it every single week. So I would love 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 to see you guys there. Um, yeah. So if that's if that's uh, yeah, look at that. See all these see all these people here. See John is saying Dale Roberts for sure. Sweeney in the house. Great to see you, Sweeney. Um, fantastic. Uh, great to see you. Uh, Neil asked about Vid Summit. I have not, I have not gotten any, uh, I've, I've been getting some emails, but no, I have not. Are, are you going to the virtual event, uh, 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 Neil? I'm assuming that you are. Uh, if you're new to VidSummit, VidSummit is an amazing online video conference uh, that um, every single year, I think I've gone in person. I don't know if it's going to be the same virtually. Uh, I really just, I, I think the biggest value that I get the biggest value that I get at those conferences is the networking, you know, hanging out with people like Neil, like John, like Dale, um, Evan Carmichael, you know, uh, uh, Nick Nimmin. It's really the people aspect. I don't really get the most out of the actual presentations. I really get the most out of the, I think the, the values in the hallway, it's all about the hallway. And so I don't know how they're going to do that on virtual. I mean, I love supporting great, um, conferences and I've been to that conference several times but uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same virtually uh, as it is going to be in person but yeah I'll check it out I'll see what's going on I'm not so sure yeah Pete says I'm on the fence about it really over virtual events just hard for me to get excited yeah yeah I I'm with you Pete uh, I'm definitely with you uh, and 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 I definitely uh, I definitely agree with that I definitely agree with that so does anybody have any questions Anybody have any questions? Another, another, uh, leave them in the comments down below. Another amazing thing that just happened very recently. Um, 
I don't know how many of you, and as a matter of fact, let me know in the chat, how many of you are on TikTok? I'm not one of these people who always says, hey, you know, it's a brand new thing. Go check it out. I don't, I don't really have the shiny new object syndrome where anything new that comes out, you want to go check out and just play with. Um, but being a personal branding coach and being somebody who's been studying the online game and pr being a practitioner for the last two decades, um, I always am interested. I'm always intrigued. Um, Shopify just partnered with TikTok. If you're not on TikTok now, it's going to be something to think about for 2021. Uh, my wife is on TikTok. I know a lot of businesses are doing really, really amazing things on TikTok. Creators are building brands, creating followers. Uh, some of our colleagues like Dean Nimmin, these are people who are getting like thousands and thousands of followers, which remember, it's all about attention, right? It's all about attention. If you want to advance your career, if you want to build an online business, if you want to make money online, make passive income or what have you, you got to grab the attention. It's all about grabbing the attention first. Personal branding is synonymous with modern communications. That's it. And so it's all about getting attention. And there's a ton of attention on TikTok. Uh, and so it's, it's really interesting to see, um, you know, Shopify, if you don't know what Shopify is, Shopify is probably the number one e-commerce platform um, utility that's super, super easy for business owners to create and scale their business. Uh, I've consulted several e-commerce stores. I've ran several e-commerce stores in the past, and I continue to do so. Um, I think e-commerce is everything. If you want to go into business at all, it's all about e-commerce, and it doesn't have to be necessarily physical products. It doesn't have to be necessarily physical products. You can sell digital services too, because I know a lot of you guys are coaches, consultants, recruiters, content creators, live streamers, podcasters. You may not have a lot of physical products, but even digital products. Yes, you can turn this into full-time income. I'm living proof that this stuff works. Everything I talk about, everything that I advocate, everything that I share on my YouTube channel, on the podcast, on LinkedIn is all stuff that I myself have done. I myself have tried. The last thing on earth that you will ever see from Nez is me recommend, you know, uh, talk about, communicate, convey, do a video about, do a live stream about something that I have not tried first. And so I have tried TikTok. I've been on TikTok. Uh, I think it's fun. It's a super cool way to relate to people because... Something that I talk about all the time here on the channel is, you know, humanizing. That's what your personal brand is all about. It's all about humanizing yourself. People don't do business with buildings. People don't do business with logos. People don't hire profile pictures. People don't hire resumes. They don't hire pieces of paper. They do business and they hire people. And so by demonstrating your human side, this is another platform that, I mean, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just getting monstrously bigger. And the fact that you've got Shopify uh, partnering with them is a huge, huge deal. This is just brand new breaking news. It just happened very recently. And so um, something to think about, something to consider. I'd love to know if anybody here is on Shopify or anybody here do any um, e-commerce at all. Yeah, I did too, man. I loved our conversation, John. I absolutely do. Charlie Dog is in the house. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Uh, great to see you, Charlie Dog. No on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm trying to get my bearings around all other managing social media. Thoughts on that? Outsource. Yeah, I would definitely. Hey, Joe Dexter in the house. I'm going to come back to your question. I love that question. Yes, stick around, Miriam. Stick around. Great to see you, Joe Dexter. Um, this is a great question. Neil says he's not, uh, he's not, uh, he's not crazy about it. Um, this is, this is a great question. So, uh, how many of you feel a little overwhelmed when it comes to platforms and social media and where do I start? And as you keep talking about building my brand, you keep talking about showing, don't telling you keep talking about demonstrating my value. I've even been telling, you know, I'm an executive career coach for LinkedIn and so I even tell my clients, I say, you know, resume is one thing, profile is one thing. 
which you can do so much on LinkedIn now as far as getting your brand out there. Um, YouTube is everything for video. YouTube is the number one platform for video. But um, I've been telling people to do uh, uh, video websites. I've been telling clients to do more one to three minute videos on LinkedIn, just talking about what they do, talking about how they can solve problems, talking about how they can serve their audience. What solutions do they have? Um, let me know how many of you in the chat, how many of you down below are, are, are feeling a little bit overwhelmed as far as it comes to social media and if, as far as like, where do I start? Where do I begin? How do I even know where to start? Because this is a great question. And I love this question from DJ. It is a fantastic question and I want to address this. So this is this is the number one thing you need to think about first okay this is the number one thing you have to think about first and i'm so glad you asked this the first thing is 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 number one don't don't worry about it everybody feels a little bit overwhelmed it's natural to feel overwhelmed because there are so many platforms i mean i just mentioned TikTok, right it's like great here's another one linkedin stories just came out which i've been utilizing very well it's like, great. Okay. First it started with Snapchat. Now it's Instagram. Now then it's Facebook. Then it's now it's LinkedIn. It's everywhere. Then YouTube stories. Stories is here forever. It's not going anywhere. And TikTok, speaking of TikTok, TikTok is almost like stories on steroids. That's what I call TikTok. Again, you can't be particular to what you only like. Okay. If you want to build an income, if you want to build a brand, if you want to build a business, if you want to advance your career, stop thinking about you. It's not about you. Okay. You got to stop thinking about yourself. It's about how you can serve your audience, how you can provide solutions, how you, okay, can demonstrate that, Hey, I'm somebody worth paying attention to. If you don't, if you're just in this for fun, I even said this in my YouTube story, in my video, if you're just doing this for fun and you're like, hey, I just want to kind of check it out and I don't care who watches or I don't care how many subscribers I get. I don't care how many followers. I don't care about building an audience. This is not the show for you. <laughs> I'm, everything I'm saying is not going to make any sense. But if you're actually interested in turning this into full-time income, if you're actually interested in turning this into something that not only is fun, creative, but actually impactful, and you could earn damn good coin doing it because I'm living proof that it works, stick around because this is the ultimate show for you. Okay, so first of all, you're going to feel overwhelmed and it's completely natural. There's totally nothing wrong with feeling overwhelmed, okay? Secondly, um, where to start is, you know, understand where the your audience is. What is it that that that, you know, have you, have you done some research? Have you identified? Have you done your due diligence understanding where your audience resides, right? And this takes experimentation, right? Experiment on Facebook, experiment on YouTube, podcasting, Instagram. In the beginning, you might want to just experiment, but, you know, find out where the engagement is coming from. Find out where the impact resides, right? Uh, and this takes a little bit of time. And if you're, if you're, I totally uh, believe in outsourcing, um, I said this on Ross's uh, five-year celebration show that he just had this Friday. Uh, I said this uh, on his show. I said that I think that content creators are going to be able to make so much money in the next couple of years, especially if you have the skills like live streaming skills, video skills, editing skills, presentation skills, and you're engaging and charismatic and you have skills in this kind of content creation game. Those skills are highly monetizable because of what uh, uh, DJ just said. A lot of people don't feel comfortable doing videos. A lot of people don't feel comfortable doing stories. A lot of people don't feel comfortable or don't even, never mind comfortable. They just, maybe they don't have the time to do it and they'd rather outsource it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, you don't, I'm not saying anybody here has to go on TikTok, but I'm saying that it's something that you might want to be open, at least be open-minded to at least be open-minded to, even if you, because I hear this all the time, even I had a client very recently say, you know, Facebook ads don't work. Facebook ads is a scam. Facebook ads is a hoax. Well, first of all, uh, um, there's a reason why Facebook makes billions and billions of dollars a year on advertising. People are not just throwing them money for luck. It's because it actually works. Uh, it's just, you're not doing it right. 
And so Facebook ads definitely works. Instagram ads definitely work. LinkedIn ads definitely work. You're just not doing it right. YouTube ads, forget about it. YouTube ads is probably even better. The Google YouTube product is probably even better. Um, so some of you might have, you know, and I, I kind of see some of this a little bit uh, from time to time, say, well, I've been on TikTok. It's a bunch of crap. Or it's, well, ah, you know, you want to be open-minded. You don't want to be closed-minded. And plus, the platform is not the same as it was four months ago, let alone six, 12 months ago when it, when it first was really getting, getting steam. So, so don't, don't feel that you have to be on there. Let the audience dictate what platform you should be on. Um, where can you bring the most impact? Where can you bring the most value and then go there and start creating? And again, like I said, in the beginning, it takes a little bit of experimentation, uh, and don't be afraid of failure. Failure is inevitable. You're going to, you're going to fail. So <laughs> Sweeney, Sweeney says, Professor, where is today's sneeze? Don't jinx it. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We can do that. Silver Fox. Definitely. Um, you know, so, so, uh, uh, don't worry about the overwhelm and, uh, don't worry about where I need to start. Be open-minded and, uh, experiment a little bit in the beginning and try to find out really that's, it's, if you want to, if you want to advance your career, grow more, earn more, stress less, maybe even build and scale a, a coaching business, a consulting business, some kind of online business selling products or services, go where the audience is. You cannot have a business. You cannot have a YouTube channel. You cannot have a brand without an audience. Otherwise, just record for yourself and talk to yourself. It just doesn't work that way. Uh, and so uh, I would say, um, go check out, go, go, go experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment. And uh, you will find your audience. You will definitely find your audience. Anybody else have any questions? If you're just joining us, by the way, I can't believe you almost jinxed me. So what Sweeney's, if you don't know what Sweeney's talking about, um, I don't sneeze, right? I never, ever, it seems like every time I go live, like I'll be in my studio for 12 hours a day and I'll never sneeze. But it seems like every single time I go live, as soon as I hit the live button, within 10, 20 minutes, I have to sneeze. And Sweeney being my main mod in the house understands that more than anybody. So don't jinx it. I haven't sneezed yet, Sweeney. I can already feel one coming just thinking about it. So thanks a lot, Sweeney. <laughs> You're watching Office Hours with yours truly, your personal branding coach, Professor Niz. That's me. <laughs> and uh, we go live every single Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and my Twitch channel. And I'm so glad that you're here. You can ask me anything Ask me any question at all. <laughs> Midnight Madness, <laughs> Charlie Dog, sneeze, sneeze. You're going to totally make me sneeze. I can already feel it coming. You're going to make me sneeze. And yes, thank you, Silver Fox, for recognizing that. Silver Fox says he always mutes the sneeze. You're so professional. Yeah, I don't want you guys to hear that. Why would I sneeze live on, ugh, I don't want to hear that. That's, that's, no. I am always a consummate professional. Can't you tell? Okay. <laughs> I love, I love seeing you guys here every single week. It's just so much, it's so much fun to talk to you guys. And it's so much fun to, to, to do this show every single week. I just absolutely love it. We have fun here at Nez Nation. You guys got to hit subscribe. You got to hit the bell notification. You got to follow us everywhere on LinkedIn. Follow the hashtag, follow my profile because you don't just get me. Look at these amazing content creators, live streamers, podcasters, business owners, professionals, executives. You get the whole gamut here at Nez Nation. You don't just get me. So it's just fabulous to see you guys. You know, I, speaking of TikTok, getting back to TikTok just for a second, you know, I had, I, I don't, I have not gained any sort of uh, uh, following or anything. I've only posted a few things here and there. And I kind of mixed it up. Like I posted some business stuff and then I posted some fun kind of lip sync stuff. And I folks, uh, I posted a little bit of family stuff. You know, uh, um, if if businesses start taking TikTok more seriously, which they I think they already have, and Shopify really exemplifies this. And you know, I I know I said this last week, and I know I said this, and I'm going to say this again: the viral video on TikTok with the uh, Stevie Nicks song and that uh, uh, dude on the on the skateboard, uh, uh, I forget his name. 
why why did this guy do one video and he's got over like 30 million 40 million views on it he you know ocean spray sales went up the roof he got a brand new truck he's got brand deals galore now this guy could barely help his mother pay her rent and now this guy's living large that's the power that's the power of online branding of social media of online presence of personal branding that should tell you how powerful this stuff is just by putting yourself out there and he didn't rehearse that he didn't strategize that he didn't like force it he didn't try to be something that he wasn't he didn't try to be confident he didn't fake it till you make it all he did was be capital R real and that's all you got to do all he did was be capital R real capital A authentic and you will win there's 7.7 billion people on this thing called earth. You don't think there's an audience out there for you? You don't think there's people out there who are going to be like, you know what, Silver Fox, I love what you do. I love what Charlie does. I love what Joe does. I love what Miriam does. You know, I don't like what Nez does. To be honest with you, Nez doesn't do it for me. But Miriam does. There's people out there for you. There's a tribe waiting for you. There's an audience waiting for you. But you keep overthinking it and you're stopping yourself from putting yourself out there. Imagine if that dude would have said, man, this is stupid. On a skateboard, drinking ocean spray and, oh man, I'm going to delete that. Imagine if he would have clicked delete. Because you know, every time you do a story, every time you do one of those TikToks, you can review it first before you click post. And he decided to click post. Imagine if he didn't his life would have never been the same again. Can you imagine that? Okay, we got some questions. We got some questions. I know you guys have smashed the smash button, right? Hit that like button. Make sure you share this out. I really, really appreciate that. We got a question from Joe. Great question here from Joe Dexter. And Joe, I just want to say a big shout out to you. Uh, Joe's got a great channel. Joe's Joe's an amazing Nez Nation, part of the Nez Nation family, bringing more humanness to this digitalness. It's great to see you, Joe. Uh, what are some tips you have for remaining focused during these unprecedented times and not being too scattered? I worry about that as a new sole proprietor. Yeah, who left the journalism business. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, Joe, abs- this is a brilliant question. I think a lot of people will get a lot about this, uh, a a lot from this. Thank you so much for asking this. How do you remain focused during unprecedented times and not too scattered? Um, You know, don't feel that... This is very common too, especially for entrepreneurs. Um, And it's very, very normal because we have so many ideas and we want to try so many things and so many things pop up. And maybe you're listening and watching and consuming too many things and they're giving you all these great ideas. One project at a time. I'm a big believer in doing one project at a time. I'm a big believer in, you know, it it depends on two things. Number one, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want this to succeed? You have to really identify because you have to have the right expectations. You have to have the right mindset. You have to go in understanding that it's not going to happen immediately, that it's not, that's very, I'm not saying it it can't happen immediately, but it's very rare that it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice. How bad do you want this? Okay. And then number two, um, focus on one project at a time. Okay. If you're thinking about launching a YouTube channel, Well, launch that YouTube channel. Give it your all, okay? Don't think about launching a YouTube channel and launching, you know, four or five businesses and launching a podcast and launching all at the same time. Like, I have a podcast. I have a YouTube channel. I have a business. But, I mean, I didn't launch them all at the same time. I focused on one project at a time, and I definitely have my focuses because the audience has really dictated where I should be focusing. Now, you hear me say a lot about the audience, but but this does not negate you, right? And so you don't want to just kind of neglect what you want and neglect what's good for you as well, because you're the creator, you're the epicenter of all this content, right? So you're the source. And so you do have to think about yourself as well, but, but you know, uh, uh, really identifying and focusing one project at a time 
and, and make a list, make a list of other things. Maybe, you know, put the podcast on hold for now. Maybe put this other business project or this endeavor or, 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 you know, whatever it is, focus on one thing at a time, go all in. Okay. Do the best that you can. I'm not saying you can't think about those other things or you can't have those things on the back burner, but it's, it's, it's really, and, 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 you know, I have a video, if you're talking about kind of, you know, we're in the middle of an amazingly heated, divisive election year. Uh, we're only two days away from this thing happening. Uh, and there's a lot of craziness, the media, TV, uh, mainstream media. It's just, uh, it's endless, right? It's an endless barrage in our senses. I talked about this in a video re uh, uh, recently, Joe, and I think you actually saw it, but I'd like to reiterate it here. Um, you'd be surprised how many things work if you... Uh, unplug them and plug them back in, including you, including you. So don't be afraid to unplug. Don't be afraid to ostracize yourself or, or just take, you know, there's nothing wrong with escape. There's nothing wrong with hiding. <laughs> people, people put a negative connotation to hiding, but actually, you know, if it helps you focus and it helps you stick to what really matters, um, turn everything else off, turn the news off turn Twitter off, unplug, don't watch Netflix, turn it all off. Focus on what you want, what makes you the most happy, what makes you the most fulfilled, um, what gives, what adds, even if it's just a molecule per day, what adds to you fulfilling and achieving this objective and, and really subtract everything that negates from that. You know, friends can sometimes be the ultimate murderers of your dreams. I've said this before. Um, you know, friends and family can be the biggest obstacle to what you want. And sometimes, you know, if they're really true friends, sometimes there's, I would say there's absolutely nothing wrong with saying, you know what, bro, I love you to death. You know what, cuz, you know what, sister, you know what, dad, mom, I love you guys to death, but I got to focus on this. I'm serious about this. I love this. And it requires a lot of my attention. I don't want you to take it personal, but I need to focus on this. So I'm not going to go out to the bars. I'm not going to hang out with you every week. I'm not going to come over. I'm not going to, whatever it may be, um, really taking decisive control over what you need to really make a list. Okay. Put it, put it, put this down on paper, draw a line in the middle. What is helping you achieve this and what's taking time away and then cross out the things that are the least valuable and the least important. That's the easiest way to do it. And then you'll be left with two or three things there on one column that you need to focus on and you'll understand exactly what it is you need to subtract. That's the best way to do that, Joe. What a great question. I absolutely love that. Eduardo is in the house. What's up, Eduardo? Great to see you, Eduardo, in the house. How are you, Eduardo? It's about time you showed up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Great to see you, Eduardo. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I really, really appreciate you. Um, make sure as you're coming in that you smash that smash button. Make sure that you uh, uh, hit that like button. And, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, if you're just joining us right now, you know that we're watching um, Office Hours with yours truly. This is a live AMA where you can ask a personal branding coach anything. I've been in the online game for over two decades. Um, I have two businesses right now, and, uh, you know, I have a podcast and a live stream show and a YouTube channel that I'm very serious about. And so if you want to ask me anything, this is the show to do it. This is the time to do it. Uh, uh, thank you so much for being here and uh, make sure that you uh, hit those notifications because we go live every single week, every single week. Yeah, I hope that was helpful, Joe. I hope that was helpful. You know, I, I, I'm not one of these people also, Joe, who, you know, even though I say focused on one project at a time, I, if, you, if you have the discipline and you know, like you have to be, you know, creating this amount of content, you have to be putting this amount of time in your business, investing in your business, but also working outside your business. And you have a family and you have, I mean, time management is everything. And so making that list of what are the things that are getting in the way of me achieving this? And what are the things that are adding, adding to the, you know, uh, um, level of achievement that I can get to and the time that I need 
really making that list and just being honest with the people around you, being honest with your friends, being honest with your time and disciplining yourself, you can do it and you can get it. I promise you, you can. Yo, Frank Gallo, great to see you. Thank you so much. Silver Fox says she's making that list right now. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Miriam says, I appreciate the fact that in one of your videos, I learned that it's not how many subscribers you can get a deal from the few following you have. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about you. You got to go after it. You got to go after it. And, and by the way, when you're getting brand deals for your channel, when you're getting, uh, I need to do a whole video on this, I think, because I've gotten uh, plenty of brand deals and I have 6,000, almost 6,000 subscribers, but I was getting brand deals even at around 1,500 to 1,000 subscribers. Um, absolutely, you can do this. It, it, it really depends on who you're going after, right? If you're going after Nike and, and Johnson and Johnson um, right away, I'm not saying it couldn't happen because they have large budgets. But, you know, it may not be, it may not be a, a higher degree of success. But, I mean, it's, it's really people, people don't buy credentials. People don't buy your followers and your subscribers. They buy you. They buy your energy. And so if you believe in what you're doing and you can communicate to them that it is in their best interest that they do a deal with you, that they contract your services, and that they actually hire you for a brand deal and sponsorship, they're going to do it. There's plenty of businesses out there. And I mean, this is, this is the time to do it too. I'm telling you guys right now, this is the time to do it because no business out there can go to conferences anymore. No business out there can go to expos. No business out there can, uh, you know, brick and mortar. There's so much restriction on brick and mortar that everything is happening online now. So if you can get the word out for these businesses with your channel, with your content, with your podcast, with your live stream show, uh, uh, with your marketing skills or whatever that may be, you can make a ton of money right now. You can make a ton of money right now. And uh, I would advise that you really do research on these companies, do research and start with small businesses, maybe even local businesses, uh, uh, and, and really just see if a partnership aligns and just get on the phone. Don't be afraid to get on the phone with these people. Hi, my name is Miriam. You know, I've got a YouTube channel. I'm posting consistent videos. Don't even tell them you have a thousand subscribers. Just tell them what you do and tell them what you're all about. You don't even need to worry about the numbers and just say, I'm growing very, very steadily. You know, it's how you phrase it. You want to be honest, obviously you want to be authentic, but you don't have to volunteer information. Don't ever forget that. Write that down. Silver J write that down. Silver Fox. You always want to tell the truth, but you don't have to volunteer information. Don't give them an opportunity to say no when they've already said yes. And so it depends on how you present it. It depends on your energy. Don't be afraid to do a quick Zoom chat, a quick 10-minute Zoom chat. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to disclose who, but a pretty big company right now has reached out to me to do a brand deal, uh, to do a tutorial on my channel. And I have a meeting, a virtual chat with them. I think it's on Tuesday. Uh, I think on Tuesday I have, a, or no, actually it's Wednesday. I have a virtual 15 minute virtual chat with them that we're going to talk about how we can work well together. They reached out to me, so they're very interested. And so I'm just going to basically see what they're going to offer. And, and this is going to happen to you too. I, I have over 350 uploads on my YouTube channel. I work my butt off. Every single one of my videos bleeds uh, 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 sweats, toils, everything. I put my heart into every single video. I mean, I know you guys know this. And so, um, you know, you're going to, this is going to happen. If you just, if you just remain persistent, go after it. And especially if you want to get, you know, started on YouTube, go check out uh, my latest video, which talks about my journey uh, uh, over the last four years. I started my YouTube channel in 2016, but I didn't really understand YouTube until late 2017. And by the way, you never understand YouTube. You'll never get it. There is no fail safe. There is no special formula. You're always learning. But honestly, I feel like if I did what I did now, back in 2016, I would have 50 million subscribers by now. I really feel that way. I feel like now I've gotten into a level and a groove and an understanding of the platform and how my videos can bring value that, and the analytics show this, that I'm growing very, very steadily right now. And I'm very, very excited. Frank says, my channel is mostly about the news, but I'm not really happy with it. Is it a bad idea 
to change at this point. I only have 185 subscribers. Well, first of all, only 185. I would change that around. That's 180. I mean, imagine if 185 people were sitting in a room listening to you. That would be a lot, wouldn't it? That'd be a pretty good amount. Don't underestimate your audience and don't undervalue your audience. Um, I've seen people make deals and make money off of, you know, a 500 uh, subscriber audience. You can do this. Um, you know, uh, to, 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 ask, to answer your question more specifically, Frank, is it a bad idea to change at this point? It's never a bad idea to change. Um, and one thing I would say is go to your audience and ask them, you know, do a video or just do a community tab post if you can. I don't know if you have the community tab at 185, but, um, you know, ask them and say like, what kind of, don't be afraid to go directly to the source. What kind of content do you want to see from me? If it's a case, Frank, where you're like, you know, I'm not really happy with the channel. I'm not really happy with the content I'm doing. Um, then definitely, you know, definitely you want to, uh, uh, make sure that you're feeling that you can bring your best, uh, uh, self to the table every day. Um, but, but, you know, if it's, if it's, if it's just a matter of like, well, I only have 185 subscribers and when did you start? When did you start this channel, Frank? I should be doing channel audits. <laughs> I should do channel reviews. Shouldn't I? Silver Fox in the house. So great to see you. Make sure you share this out. And again, if you're just joining us, you are watching Office Hours with yours truly. This is a show where you can ask me anything, anything at all. Leave a comment. Leave your question in the comments down below related to anything, related to making money online, advancing your career, growing an online business, getting your message out there, communicating, social media, anything at all. We go live every single Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. 12 30 p.m eastern time definitely it's not going to kill kill you it's not going to hurt if you want to pivot or or alter your branding or al alter uh the premise of your channel especially now if you had obviously i i feel like 185 people who have decided to listen to you and decided this is my guy is is nothing to frown about but yeah you don't have uh, such a large audience that it would be a detriment to you to uh change things and I'm curious what you think you should change it to. Like, do you want to stick to news? Um, it could just be that you need to work more on the real kind of tactical details of, of YouTube, such as titles, thumbnails, um, description, SEO, um, you know, things like that, especially title and thumbnails is really, really important. Super Dave in the house. Super Dave, how in the world are you? So great to see you. Frank says about five months ago. It's too early, Frank. Five months is nothing on YouTube. Guys, you got to go check out my video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave it in the chat down below. I'm going to leave a link. Sweeney, are you still here? Can you leave a link to that video? It's my most recent upload. Uh, it's the starting on YouTube, but mistakes to avoid. If Sweeney, if you're still here, could you, could you please leave that? Or one of my mods, I don't know if Neil is still here. Uh, Neil, are you still here? If you could leave that in the chat, uh, in the comments, I would really, really appreciate it because you're going to love that. You need to watch that video. You need to go watch that video like today, like right now, Frank. Um, this is a long, long, long term, long term game. You got to think long term. Six months is nothing. Um, six months is absolutely nothing. I think my first six months, I had the same amount of subscribers, if not less. Um, again, I didn't really learn the art and science. I didn't really learn the, okay, thank you so much. So, so Sweeney just posted it right there. So go check out that video. He just put it. Thank you so much, Sweeney. I really appreciate it. You are the awesomest mod. I really appreciate you. Um, so Sweeney just posted it in the chat. Frank, go watch that video now. But just to give you a little brief kind of synopsis, if I may, um, you know, understand that a, you need to understand that this is a long game. Okay. YouTube is a long game. Anything, building a brand, building a business online is a long game. Six months is nothing. Now, if you would have said six years, then we need to talk. Then definitely you should have changed long ago, but six months is nothing. So if you're, I would say this to answer your question even more specifically, if you're thinking about changing up your, your YouTube channel or changing it up, if you're not into the content that you're creating, your audience is going to feel that. 
So you need to believe in your content. You need to believe in what you're doing. You need to bring that energy to the table. That's one thing that you want to identify. But if you love doing the news and you love doing the the premise of your channel, then look at some specific details and uh, specific components of your channel that you can alter, such as the most important of the most important, your thumbnail, your channel branding, right? Um, your video, it first starts with CTR. You got to have a high CTR and then you got to have a good AVD, average view duration. So it's all about CTR and AVD. And all that has to do with a really, really attention grabbing thumbnail, a title and thumbnail that narratively complement each other. And then once you win the click, now you've got to have the best video on planet earth that really caters to the viewer's uh, 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 interests, really caters to the viewers, um, what they want, what they desire, what problems, what challenges they have. That's essential. But go watch that video because that video will save your life. And, and who knows, maybe you don't have to, uh, maybe you don't have to, to change your entire channel. Uh, maybe you don't have to change your entire channel, but maybe you just change, uh, you know, you just change a few things. You just change a few aspects of your channel. That's all. Miriam says, the sun is the hottest, but burns nothing until you use a focused glass. That's the power of focusing. Very nicely said, Miriam. I'm so happy to see you. I hope we, we, we get to see you more often uh, every single week. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> focusing is important. Um, I, I don't believe in, you know, you can, you're in too many places at once. I don't believe in that idea because it depends on how bad you want it. And it depends on, I don't believe in spreading yourself too thin. I really don't, especially when it comes to this game, because it's not hard to repurpose your content on other platforms. It's not hard to post on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook and LinkedIn. It's not really hard. And if you can outsource that, do that. You need to have attention on the major platforms. But as far as like your focus on turning this into a business, as far as like your focus on this is my main platform for creating content, yeah, you need to pick one. And I would say without a shadow of doubt, YouTube is to me, and what I do, YouTube is everything. I mean, my business eats, sleeps, and breathes on LinkedIn, but but YouTube and LinkedIn are my two big ones. And so Facebook, I get nothing. Instagram, I get nothing. TikTok, nothing. Snapchat, forget about it. I don't even know why I even have the Snapchat app anymore. Twitter, I love Twitter for the conversations you can have and just kind of reaching out and sharing, you know, tidbits of, it's like the water cooler of social media. But to have your content live and breathe long term, nothing beats YouTube, not even LinkedIn, even though I love LinkedIn, but nothing, absolutely nothing beats YouTube. Very, very great question. I hope that helped, Frank. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. You're absolutely welcome. I'm really curious to, to, to see if you, if, if you got a lot out of that video and leave a comment because I respond to all the comments. And so, so leave a comment uh, uh, in that video. I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, Miriam says, my other question is in pursuit of success. Doesn't it feel lonely at long last? Because you can't socialize when you have a huge vision. What do you think, Professor? I don't know why you wouldn't be able to socialize. Um, why wouldn't you be able to socialize when you have a huge vision? Um, it doesn't have to be lonely. These are all myths. These are all... Uh, strange, um, you know, stereotypes and strange um, generalizations. You can socialize. I mean, I, I, like I said, I, one of my colleagues had a five-year celebration and he invited me to speak uh, on his live stream. Um, it was great seeing everybody. It reminded me of the old days. Uh, it was great, you know, being on a panel. It was great uh, socializing. We socialized. Um, you know, I naturally don't have a ton of time because I am running two businesses. I do have a family, I have a wife, I have kids. I still teach part-time at the university. You know, I am an actual business communications professor. I don't just call myself professor. And I focus very, very much so on running my businesses and my family. And so that takes up a lot of my time. But, you know, um, and, and actually this might be a really good, I think where you're going with this, Miriam, and if I may be so presumptuous, if I may be presumptuous to just add this, um, I, I definitely think being an entrepreneur and being a business owner, um, there, I will say this, there's no such thing as an off switch. 
Uh, there's no such thing as a punch out, right? Like if you're working a W-2 job for a corporation, company, organization, what have you, you, you punch in at nine, you punch out at five. You don't ever have to think about work. Being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, it's not like that. You're constantly thinking about work. You're constantly tinkering with your business. It is a 24 seven, eight days a week gig. And if that is not something that, that's why it's so important to focus on and identify what is it that you feel you can't not do. What is it really? Personal branding is about picking your calling. It's not just about picking a business. Um, deciding on what you want to communicate and advocate. I'm not saying you can't change in the future. You can definitely change in the future. But deciding on something that really makes your chest come alive, electrifies your innards. It makes you feel like this is your purpose here on earth. I feel like this is my purpose here. I feel it with my whole hearted self. I was put on this earth to inspire, to share, to motivate, to help transform people's lives, to help people with their career, to help people with their business, to help people in general. I love helping people. It's in my DNA. Um, coaching, teaching, entertaining, and helping, it's in my DNA. And so I love it more than anything. I can do this 24 eight and not, it, it doesn't feel like 24 eight. It feels like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. When you come from a place of purpose, you'll never work another day in your life. Everybody write that down right now. When you come from a place of purpose, not just doing it for the money, not just doing it for the followers, not just doing it for the subscribers, not just doing it for vanity metrics. When you're coming from a place of purpose, You'll never work another day in your life. I promise you. Every day will feel like absolute heaven. Every day will feel effortless. Get to that place of effortlessness. It can be achieved. But don't be afraid to go after what electrifies your chest. I'm not going to say do what you love because that's so namby-pamby and bumper stickery. I'm not going to say do what you love. Come from a place of purpose. You can monetize that. You can make money doing that. And you'll love it so much that every day you'll be grateful that people actually pay you to do what you love. It's insanity. It's absolute insanity. And it can work. Eduardo, so great to see you, Eduardo. Eduardo, I know you're building an amazing brand. It's so great. George Fisher in the house. I love it. I love it, George Fisher. So great to see you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, yes, Frank, you can ask another question. Let me get to Eduardo's question here. I'm trying to see how to incorporate music in my next episode, but having a hard time finding good royalty-free music. Any tips? I want a good opening. Oh, yeah. Easy. Go to the YouTube audio library. There's tons of websites actually besides that, but I, I got all my music from the YouTube uh, free, uh, free audio library. And a lot of those uh, um, are, are royalty free. You can post them anywhere. As a matter of fact, I've seen people put, um, I've seen people actually put some of the music on YouTube audio on their Facebook ads and stuff. Absolutely. Go to the YouTube. If you don't know where that is here, let me see if I can do a little screen share here. If you don't know where that is, uh, Eduardo, you're on YouTube right now. So if you don't know where that is, Eduardo, let me, uh, let me actually show you where that, where that is. Um, so if you go into YouTube studio and, um, at the very bottom of the tab, the very bottom tab says audio library. Okay. And all this, okay. Is royalty free. All this, let me, let me screen share real fast. All of this is royalty free. And so check this out. Let me know if you can see this right here. Do you see like I'm in YouTube studio right now. And if you go all the way to the bottom, okay, you'll see that right here where my pointer is clicking. That's where, um, that's where, uh, these are all, a lot of these, th these songs and you can search for different songs. You can download. It's very easy to download the, the music. And I mean, you can have your pick of the litter. YouTube has provided this for us. It's just absolutely fantastic. You don't need to worry about it. You can go to YouTube audio library and you'll be on fire. It's phenomenal what you can do with, with YouTube audio library. 
Um, you can find all the music you need. But I know there are other, uh, probably Sweeney and Joe would know better than me. Uh, maybe Super Dave as well. Um, or Neil, if Neil's still here. I don't know, Neil probably took off. Um, but you know, uh, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely some other options out there, but I love, I get all my music from YouTube audio library. I absolutely love it. Okay. Frank says I'm a commercial pilot and I'm on the road a lot, actually for eight days on six days off. It's difficult to do my show when I'm on the road. Yes, I understand that. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. Chris says your passion is evident, very inspiring. Thank you so much, Chris. It's great to see you here, Chris. Silver Fox DJ, it's so great to see you. Says that helps a lot. Great tips. Thank you so much. Impact before income. Yes, impact. And here's the funny thing. You're right, Silver Fox. And, and Frank, I'm going to get to your question. Um, you're right, Silver Fox. Impact before income, always. But here's the funny, ironic thing. You can't have an in income if you don't create impact. So uh, I guess the reason I'm saying this is because, again, I don't want to come off to namby-pamby or bumper stickery, but you cannot make income unless you create impact. You can make money, which anybody can make money, but like a true income where you can sustain yourself, take care of yourself and your family, You've got to have impact. Even in the W-2 world, you got to have impact. You got to, you got to, you have to create attention. You have to garner attention. If you don't garner attention, it is all over. You got to find a way to stand out and it can't be forced. Uh, it can't be, it can't be something that, uh, you know, is artificial. It can't be artificial, it can't be fabricated. It's got to be real. Joe says, uh, stream beats on Spotify is another option. Oh, fantastic. Sweeney. Yep. Thank you so much. Sweeney, you're the man. I'm so glad to have you, uh, uh, as my main mod in charge. I might have to make silver Fox and maybe even Joe a mod too, because you know, they've been coming here a lot more regularly. Um, and, and, and the best way for you to become a mod is first, you got to show me that you can be a part of the community, really participate, be engaged in the community, and then be consistently here every week and week out. Uh, I have no problem creating some new mods and maybe even getting rid of some old ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. This ain't no easy street here in Nez Nation. You got to earn that blue wrench. Uh, Frank says, I haven't invested in equipment yet. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, when you say equipment, uh, so you're on the road, I'm assuming, are you creating content with your phone, just your phone? Because there's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's there's nothing wrong with uh, uh, creating content on your phone. But why do you feel that you need to invest in equipment? Is it just to make it more feasible and practical for you on the road, given your lifestyle and given your traveling schedule? Oh, thank you, Super Dave. Super Dave says, I use sound effects and music from Filmora. Yeah, I mean, even in your editing softwares, even iMovie, I think, you can get some music there too that's royalty-free and license-free. But honestly, brother, uh, you know, it sounds like, you know, you got a lot of great, uh, this is what I love about the Nez Nation family. You got these great content creators in the chat. It sounds like you can go to a bunch of places, Eduardo, if you're still here and get some great royalty free music. But again, I get all my music from the YouTube audio library and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sweeney, but there's probably millions, thousands and thousands of songs, uh, uh in the free, uh, YouTube audio library. You may on a couple of them have to. I think, and, and somebody in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong, but some of them actually request that you give a um, source link when you use their music but or a credit or something like that, I think. But, but other than that, it's still free. You don't have to pay for it. So, yeah. iMac when at home. Okay, so you're using an iMac, and, and, and when you say equipment, Frank... Uh, because, you know, when you're first starting out, I don't think you need to invest in a ton of equipment. You know, you want to really hone your video branding skills first. You want to hone your content. You want to hone your message first before you invest in a ton of, a ton of equipment. Uh, uh, you know, you, you don't really need too much equipment. You don't need a thousand dollar mic. You don't need lights and you don't need all this stuff. Um, 
At home, I have a green screen set up on the road. There wouldn't be any good lighting. Yeah, if you go in the description, if you go in the description down below, uh, Frank, I've got links to really inexpensive on the road equipment, lighting, tripod. Uh, you know, and again, the, full disclosure, those are affiliate links, but they're all products that I use. They're all products that I believe in and they're very inexpensive. Um, you know, if you're stuck in a hotel room or something like that, and yeah, there's terrible lighting and terrible audio, and there's all sorts of things that you can do on the road with just a MacBook or just a phone or what have you. And if you go in the link in the description, Frank, I've got, um, my Amazon storefront, where you can actually directly buy these products on Amazon. And I have my, I have a nice convenient list. I've got a list of all my video and streaming setup, uh, all the products there. And I also have a list of all my on the road essentials, like lighting, audio, tripod. Again, like I said, camera setup, things that go check out because, you know, I, I don't think that you need to invest a ton of money, but just a few things like maybe a decent light, maybe a decent, you know, inexpensive audio uh, uh, component can make or break. It can make a big difference, right? Okay, so if, that, if that's something you're asking, uh, I would definitely go into the description of this video on YouTube and click on the, um, click on the uh, uh, link that says my live streaming and video podcast setup. And you'll go to my Amazon storefront and you'll see everything conveniently located there. And you can buy directly on Amazon. Oh, absolutely. You're welcome, Frank. You're absolutely welcome. Sweeney says, hundreds of thousands with more getting added daily. And yes, some require contributions. Says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Sweeney. You're the man. You are the man. Thank you so much, Sweeney. Okay, guys. Well, hey, I just want to say... Um, I absolutely love you guys. I'm willing to take uh, another one or two last minute questions. Um, but I just want to say really quickly, I absolutely love you guys to death. And, and I just really, really appreciate you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here again. If you're just joining us, or if you're wondering what in the world am I watching, you're watching office hours with yours truly your personal branding coach, online business strategist, business owner, professor, uh, uh, father, uh, uh, you name it. I've done it all. Speaker, author. Every single Sunday we go live right here on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, Twitter, and my Twitch channel. We go live every single Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you set your alarm. I know uh, we had a, a, an extra hour we had an extra hour today because of the uh, daylight savings. Make sure you set your alarm every Sunday. Every Sunday we go live. And season four of the podcast is coming to an end. Season five is going to start in 2021. You want to make sure you go subscribe to our podcast. It's the greatest personal branding podcast on planet Earth. And all of these shows, some of you might be listening to this right now on the podcast. All of these shows end up going on the podcast as well. Podcast listeners, if you're listening right now, we would love to see you here live because look at this amazing chat. And now, of course, better late than never, Mr. Dr. Ed Marvin, Flash in Your Pan is here. How's it going, Flash Fam? It's so great to see you, brother. Flash Fam is in the house. Great to see you. How are you doing, Flash? I'm so glad to see you. Flash has been a longtime member of the Nez Nation family. Hashtag Flash Fam. We love you, Flash. It's so great to see you, man. I hope everything is going well for you in your neck of the woods. And by the way, you know, if, if any of this has had any impact on you, if any of these tips, any of these strategies, any of these shows, anything that I've talked about has had any impact at you at all, inspired you at all, um, please make sure that you, um, and maybe you're, maybe you're just thinking to yourself, you know what, Nez, I want to take this one step further. I want to learn more. I do want to learn how to grow my business. I do want to learn how to brand myself online. I do want to do all these things. And I want a little more detail, a little more in-depthness. Go to beyondtheboxacademy.com. We have five-star, multiple award-winning courses that guide you step-by-step, hand-in-hand, taking you through exactly what you need conveniently through amazing high-quality modules 
what you need to do to start earning money today and start creating your brand, creating your channel, creating your platform, getting your message out there so you can earn more, grow faster, and stress less. We have reduced these courses, and they're taught by yours truly, by the way, the greatest business communication professor on planet Earth, the greatest personal branding coach on planet Earth. Hello. We've reduced these courses by over 60 to 70%. I mean, these are courses that were thousands of dollars. They've now been reduced to less than $400. You've got to jump on this. I did it for COVID and I don't know if I'm going to keep it that much longer uh, because we've lost a lot of revenue, obviously, but uh, I had, I had to do it because there was just, there was just a need for it. And I, and I felt, I, I felt compelled to do it. This is your chance. You want to go jump on this. So go check out these flagship courses at the beyond the box academy.com. Um, there are links also, uh, in the uh, description. So great to see you, uh, flash. It's such a, it's such an absolute pleasure, brother. So great to see you. Um, it, it, it's, it's just my honor to, to come every single week and hang out with you guys and help. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Stay safe out there. Um, uh, be good to each other and always, always remember to come back and hang out with us every single Sunday and, uh, you know, on behalf of the Nez Nation family, I'm Professor Nez. You've been watching Office Hours, and I cannot wait. I absolutely cannot wait to see you guys next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.